Good morning, good morning, good morning, concrete basics. And this is what we are doing to today. So, Alex, I already told you about the edging because it helps the boxing and between the boxing and the concrete looks tidy. And that's how it looked like when we have edger. Yeah, it's tidy. And then when you remove this boxing, it will not chip on the end of our concrete. So that's the purpose of it. So like this line, we can get that one later. But the thing is, there is a timber behind this because this is the brick area. This area is for the bricks. And then this one here is the timber bra timber frame. Somewhere here, in this one. That's all around the house. So I'll just keep doing it and cleaning the boxing at the same time. Yes. By the way, this job is for uh, Peter Percy. Always doing the boxing for uh, Golden Homes. And uh, his son is one of my subscribers in YouTube. And, yeah. Keep the job tidy. And then. And that's how tidy it is. We tied up the boxing first and remove everything while waiting for the concrete to dry and it's still a, li a little bit soft so we have to keep doing this because it's really boring sitting on the van I've been sitting for 15 minutes and uh, I really feel like boring Time. boring moment so I have to nice guys and look at that That's the only for uh, the first one, and then later on we will redo it when it's dry, because it re it's really hard to make that edger when you have fiber like this, and when it's dry it's really hard to push the edger. So we have to be very careful letting that one dry that much. Or else we have we will suffer later on. It's better to do it earlier that when it's soft. At least when you go back, it's easy to push your uh, uh, edger. So that's all for now, guys. And uh, I'll keep I'll keep you updated with my uh, finishing on this job. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Concrete basics. Have a good one. Bye bye.